for everything that I wrote on there, but uh, it, it's it's a downright good movie. I mean, I, I, I truly believe that uh, it just came out a couple of weeks ago, and I do believe that people really uh, would uh, who haven't seen this movie would uh, definitely enjoy uh, it. But you have to like really follow it. You really have to. Uh... Yeah, let's try it again. Okay, here we. <laughs> hey, we got our guests finally. These phones and our mics are messing up, but hopefully now we can fix it. With VH1 Classics, uh, That Metal Show co-host Don Jameson, thank you for coming on the show. Hey, that's, we have the same problems on our show, too, so don't worry about it. I think we're operating on the same uh, budget, I guess. Maybe maybe you guys have a few extra shekels more than what we have going on here. I'm not sure, but it's probably pretty close. But uh, <laughs> I'm on the streets of New York City where I live, and uh, so if it's a little loud, I apologize. But I'm, uh, I'm really psyched to be on, and uh, happy to talk to you guys. Oh, man. we're truly psyched to have you on. We were, we were waiting for you. I, had, I, I sent you a couple emails. I, I feel like, you know, like I didn't want to push the issue. If you were busy doing something else, I was totally cool with it. But you, you called us back. You called us back twice here as we were going through our audio trouble. So that is definitely going above and beyond the call of duty, my friend. No, I just, you know, it's um, the neat thing is, you know, um, I, I always hate to be, uh, you know, late on my interviews and stuff. But the neat thing is, I guess because of the success of the show, it's been so fun because we have been doing so much press. And, you know, we just want to get the word out to everybody about the show because uh, we're really proud of it. And the show's expanded to an hour now. And me and Florentine have a CD out. So we're just really anxious to always get the word out wherever we can, and um, we appreciate the support, man. Oh, yeah. You and Florentine, you're like uh, the the, uh, the metal show version of the Everly Brothers, the way you have such chemistry. Well, I think we're more like Beavis and Butthead, but I appreciate the Everly Brothers. <laughs> I, I was going to say I was gonna say Peaches and Herb because you're reunited and it felt so good. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we've been reunited for uh, about 15 years together. And we've been going out on the road and doing our, our dirty jokes and uh, putting out our CDs and our DVDs and... Um, it's just an amazing time right now. I mean, to, to, to have loved metal since you're just a kid and, and then to sit and interview your idols like, you know, uh, Bill Ward and Slash and all these great people, man, it's incredible. That was an excellent episode uh, this past Saturday with uh, that aired on VH1 Classic uh, with with uh, Sabbath Bill Ward. I mean, and it's really cool now that you guys are able to expand the show so you can get more out of your guests and more information and just more great segments. Yeah, which, it, thank you, and I appreciate that because, um, you know, I think people are now seeing the show as it was always originally intended, which is at an hour, and it's a hang. You know, that's the thing we're really proud of in the show. It's a hang. Like, we never talk about the interviews before we do them. We just go out, and, you know, we all know the music. We all know the artists. So we just go hang, and it's just like, you know, you prepare a few things in your head, but, you know, who wants to watch, you know, you know, you watch... You watch some of these talk shows, and you're just, like, bored to death because it's like, all right, so tell me about your new movie mm -hmm. or tell me about your new album. And it's like, you know, we sit down, and we just get into whatever we get into, and we see where it goes. But, you know, I think that's the fun of it is because we talk, like, uncensored pretty much, you know, like we would talk if we were backstage at a show or we were hanging out in a bar, you know. Mm -hmm. And that definitely uh, gives you a good enough excuse to go out to more shows. You got the whole metal thing, metal show thing. You get the cameras out there. Sometimes you don't have to take the cameras. But either way, you're getting to see a lot of great music, both from past and present players in the metal game. Hey, look, I, for me, I mean, the most surreal moments are always, like, just meeting some of the artists because, you know, we're three idiots from New Jersey. We never thought... You know, we would, any of us would amount to anything, but I guess when you get three simple-minded guys in the same room, it just, there's just enough mental power to, like, come up with a concept where we're like, hey, we all love metal, we all love to talk and goof around, let's, let's make a show out of it. But, you know, t to come into our sixth season and, and have, like, Bill Ward from Black Sabbath standing outside of my dressing room, and I walk out, and he puts his hand out, and he's like, how you doing, mate? Don, it's good to see you. And he knows my name and who I am. It's like, are you kidding me? Why, why, why would you know me? I mean, there's no reason for that. And, uh, you, you were the drummer on War Pigs, dude. You drove, <laughs> you, you, you're, you're Iron Man. I mean, how, how do you even know who I am? It's ridiculous. Oh, man. And one of the great episodes, uh, was I think it was what kicked off the uh, 60s and was uh, the tribute to to Ronnie James Dio and what a what a what a heavy terrible loss that was uh, for the world of music not just metal in general but just for the world of music uh, he had a great what a great contribution that that man made to to the music. 
Well, yeah, I mean, I, you know, again, you know, I, I, you know, we we always joke around about it, and we talk about it on the show, but we really are three dummies from New Jersey who just have this amazing love for metal, and um, you know, I mean, we have Eddie is our straight is, is our anchor, he's our straight man, and Jim and I are the, you know, the comedians, but we love obviously we love the music and we're legit fans as well. So to go into our new season and know that the first show is going to be a tribute to Ronnie was pretty nerve-wracking you know it was like we don't want to we want to have fun with it you know and we had like six guests on that show but we also want to you know we also want to pay tribute to him and be respectful and um you know i actually had the honor of watching the show back live with wendy deal and simon wright Mm -hmm. and um i just remember looking over at the first commercial break and wendy had tears streaming down her face and I gotta say, man, that was one of the proudest moments of my career. To know that we have done this man some justice, you know. And that, like I said, a, a, an excellent episode. Just such sincerity too. You could really tell it really came across well that you guys had a genuine love for for his music. And we all knew him as a man too. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was the other thing. Obviously, we stressed. And if people haven't seen it, you know, they'll start doing the reruns probably in about three weeks from now. And they'll get to see the the rerun of that show. But you know, I knew when we uh, our photographer sent me a bunch of pictures from that taping before it even aired, and 99% of the pictures, everybody was smiling. I was smiling. Eddie, Jim, Geezer Butler, Vinny Apice, Wendy, Simon, Halford, Tom Morello, like all the great guests that came on the show, and made it so awesome. And I was like, yeah, this is a really uplifting show. You know, this is not a downer. This is not oh. We, we lost Ronnie. Of course we lost Ronnie, and we're all sad. But it was really an uplifting show, and that's the kind of guy he was. He would always uplift you, no matter what he was going through. He always wanted to know, how are you doing? What's going on with you? And that's, you know, that's why so many people loved him, you know, besides the amazing voice and, uh, and um, the great performer that he was. Mm-hmm. So very true, and man, and, and we we talked about you, and you talked a little bit about Florentine, but you know Eddie Trunk, man, he's got a he's got a you know he's kind of in the middle between you two uh, jokesters every week, and he sometimes, I don't know, he's always good at creating such a balance between you know you got he takes his share of crap from you guys, but he's not afraid to dish it right back. Yeah, no, well he he has to. It's like he's like a you know he's like a cornered rat. <laughs> you know he he's, <laughs> he's got to defend himself at some point, but. No, I mean that's you know that's another. I appreciate that you say that because that's another thing that's beautiful about the uh, about the show is you know the three of us really are truly best friends. But we never there's never a moment where we're not ready to you know break horns with one another. So you know we we do it and we take it and everybody takes it in good fun. And yeah, once in a while you know Eddie gets a zinger in and you just got to go. Okay, you got me. Mm-hmm. Uh, another great uh, segment on the show is is stump the trunk and just sometimes man, when you get you know uh, is, is that kind of a half and half with some of those questions already ready because sometimes when they come up to read their question either they're really nervous or they really have trouble reading some of those fans i mean it, it's not like that all the time but i've noticed some where it's like they're just you can really obviously tell they're reading off the, the page here yeah come, no, come clean mean, come clean don well Glenn, not everybody is as professional as you. So. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> it's, um, oh, yeah, great. Now, the, now my two uh, people, yeah. my co-pilots here are giving me crap. <laughs> yeah, well, but, no, it's funny because, you, you know, you, you nailed it on the head. It's like, you know, these these people come in with questions and they're really fired up about it. And then they get up there and, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, the lights are on you and, well, you know, nervous, you're, right? you're going to be on television and, you know, it's even in this day of reality TV where, you know, everyone's on TV. They're still, you know, it's still nerve-wracking. And I will say the same thing for Eddie. I mean, he gets, you know, he's it's nerve-wracking for him because even though it's a TV show and obviously you can edit it, you know, mm-hmm. he feels a certain amount of pressure to get the answer right. <laughs> and um, I just, you know, my favorite thing about that is I just, I just love to egg him on. <laughs> And even if it's the hardest question ever, I love to just be like, dude, that's a softball. Come on, you got to know that. <laughs> Giving him away. Because that dude, that's easy. Come on. I mean, <laughs> you should know. That's embarrassing if you don't know that. 